Welcome to another video of SPSS video series. Uh, the main purpose of making this video is to differentiate between uh, a new macro process which has been uh, uh, developed by Andrew F. Hayes. Now previously they were using uh, the macro process 2.5 version which is on this side and currently they're using the process macro 3.5 version which is on this side. So in this video we will talk about First of all, the differences in the two macro processes. There are very slight differences, but still uh, we need to know uh, what are those differences. And then we'll uh, also analyze some data uh, related to their some of the model numbers, like model number one, which is for simple moderation, model number four for simple mediation. We'll also talk about model, model number six. And then eventually we'll talk about the moderated mediation using model number 7 and model number 14. But let's just first discuss about the difference between these two processes. So here we have these two PDF uh, uh, versions of the uh, templates. So the previous version, which is 2.5, this was available uh, in their download. But this version 3.5 version of macro process uh, uh, which is being used for SPSS this is only available if you buy their book so this 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 is given at the end of their uh, uh, book which they have recently published so starting from here actually the 2.5 version had different models starting from this model 1 which is used for simple moderation and they go from here to a number of models and if we just jump to the last model and here you can see that 76th is the last model that they have given in this template but on the other hand if you talk about 3.5 version they have given uh, they have added some models and moving from here onwards if we just jump to to the end they have 92 models here. So that means they have added new models in their uh, template. And obviously there are slight differences uh, in how uh, we'll be analyzing our data and then how uh, we'll be uh, interpreting our results. So let's just go back to uh, the model one in version 2.5, which is here, and the model one of version 3.5, which is here. So, uh, we have seen that there are uh, 92 in the new version models and 76 in the previous version. Now, starting from the model 1, which is being used for simple moderation, what are the differences and if there are any differences or not? So, if you can see that x is our independent variable here and y is our dependent variable here in the previous version and m is taken as our moderating variable. Now in the new version we can clearly see that w is taken as the moderating variable but x and y are the same. Uh, what are these w's and m's? We'll talk about them when we'll move towards our SPSS analysis. Then moving towards uh, let's say model number 4 which is used for simple mediation. The previous version has the model number four as the x as independent variable, y as dependent variable and m1 as the mediating variable. So in the same case, if we just see the model number four in here, they are the same x and x, y and y and m1 and m1. So there's no change in model number four. So if you want to uh, know the analysis of model number four independently, you can uh, go to one of the videos of uh, mediation analysis, which is part two, and you'll be able to uh, understand that. Now, let's just move towards model number six, which is used for sequential mediation. And in the previous version, it used to be like this X, Y, M1 and M2. And in the new version, it is the same X, Y. M1 and M2 but we need to see that how they have changed the model number 7 now model number 7 if you not care about what this model is about you can go back to part 1 
then we have discussed uh, a very detailed uh, uh, model of this thing which is called moderated mediation so if this uh, moderator is going to moderate here in this path then this mediated is going to mediate between independent and dependent variable so here we can clearly see that there is no change so x y m1 x y m1 and then moderator is taken as w the same way if you move to for example model number 14 which is also used for moderated mediation in the previous version they have this as x y m1 and v in the previous version it was considered as v the moderator was considered as v but in the new version let's just see if they have changed it yes in the new version instead of v now we'll have to see that w is taken as our moderating variable so these are the few differences and if you want to compare some more models you can always uh, compare uh, different models as there's a change in model number 15 and then there might be a change in model number 16 so as most of us we do not go towards these complex uh, analysis so model 1 model 4 model 6 7 and 14 are enough in order to know what have they really changed so now let's just go back to our uh, analysis part and here we want to be very uh, clear that we'll be doing analysis with model 1 which is for simple moderation model 4 model 7 and model 14 we'll be using version 3.5 and if you want to use uh, version 2.5 you can always go back to part 2 uh, where you're going to find how we uh, do these analysis using uh, the version 2.5 now let's just move to our next model which is our model number seven and first we need to see that what is our model number seven saying so model number seven is saying uh, that creativity is our independent variable performance is our dependent variable this is our mediating and this is our moderating variable but this model seven is only used for moderated mediation model seven and model 14 are used for moderated mediation and let's just go to our SPSS sheet and see how can we analyze this model number seven so analyze regression remember we are we, we need to go to this 3.5 version and here now we need to be careful where we are putting what variable so creativity again is going to go to our variable x the performance is going to go into our dependent variable innovation is our mediating variable but now we need to be careful that we need to put this creative culture in the w variable which is saying that moderating moderator variable and don't forget to change uh, this uh, model number which is going to be seven for this time so this is how we define our model and just click ok it's going to take some time as it is running matrix and then it's going to give us some results now here are the results and it is saying that you've used model 7 and these are some of the variables that is dependent variable is performance which is y and then independent variable as x m is our mediating variable which is innovation and w is our moderating variable now here you need to be careful about uh, a few steps which is starting from this uh, interaction term which is uh, saying that uh, 3.99 uh, this is significant so after looking at this first indicator of uh, interaction term which is saying it is significant then you can uh, move to this lower table the last one now this is saying or talking about the moderated mediation now what it is trying to say is that at this path which is creativity innovation and performance and at the conditional indirect effect of x on y this is the situation now we need to understand this one so it is saying then that when the moderator is at the lowest level which is 
The mediation effect is 0 0.5283 and it is significant because both uh, LLCI and ULCI contain the same sign. When you increase the level of the moderator, the mediation or the indirect effect also increases. And when you further increase the presence of the moderator, which is culture, the mediation role or the indirect effect further increases and all of these three effects are significant because of these LLC and ULC values. Now this is the indicator that with the increase of the moderator, the mediation effect is also increasing and then index of moderated mediation is also showing 0.1433 and the boot LLCI and ULCI have the same sign, which means that there is happening the moderated mediation. So this is how you analyze your model number seven. Thank you very much.